What if you could design faster, think bigger, and take your creativity to places you never imagined? Hi, I'm Moshe Katz, and welcome to Designing with AI, a new era for architects and designers. Artificial intelligence is transforming every industry and architecture and design are no exception. But let's be clear, AI isn't here to replace creativity, it's here to expand it. This course isn't about shortcuts, it's about learning how to collaborate with AI, using it to refine ideas, speed up your process and unlock new creative possibilities. We'll begin by looking at how AI can generate ideas, develop concepts, and enhance your designs without replacing your artistic words. You'll learn how to integrate AI into your workflow, from sketches to 3D models, making sure that every AI-assisted creation reflects your own vision. Then we'll bridge the gap between hand sketching and AI-generated visual. You'll see how to transform rough ideas into polished professional images while keeping the soul of your deep design intact. We'll explore digital sketching, collage techniques, renders, and AI-enhanced exterior and interior learning, how to control textures, lighting, and composition in ways that elevate your work. But we won't stop there. We'll push further into AI-powered furniture and lighting design, architectural elements, and advanced post-production techniques. You'll learn how to turn abstract concepts into fully realized visuals and even bring them to life with AI-powered animation for dynamic presentation and teasers videos. You'll know how to integrate AI into your workflow while staying in control of your artistic identity. Whether you're an architect designer or a creative thinker, you'll walk away with a bold, limitless approach to design. If you're ready to push boundaries and redefine your creative process, let's begin. everyone and welcome to this new course designing with AI. I'm Moshe Katz, an architect and interdisciplinary artist and I'm here to teach you this amazing innovative course on how to use AI as architects and designers and how to bring your uh, thoughts, your visions, your uh, potentials as architects out there using AI to enhance your creativity. In this lesson, we are going to go through the understanding of why and how AI can actually uh, enhance your capabilities as an architect and designer. What are the advantages of AI for you in your profession? So let me tell you that I am using AI in the recent years and I am fascinated by how much it can really help me to bring uh, all my sketches to realistic images within few minutes. You just see the amazing results and how the spaces that you have envisioned in your sketch are coming to life and you actually see it in materials and textures and real life context. And most of all, AI allows you to create these images and visuals of your futuristic visions and then share it with the world and inspire the world with your unique style. And uh, this is also a marketing tool where you can enhance your visibility in the world and show how much you can offer. The AI is also useful in the conceptual process, in the creative research phase, and in the design and development phase. In each phase, you can allow yourself to use AI as a tool that accompanies the uh, design and not just in the beginning where you want to understand where the project is going, but also in the development phase where the project is going through a lot of changes and now you can allow yourself to do all of these beautiful visuals and understandings of the project's potentials already in that phase. It's also in the design of the architectural project. In this phase, uh, when you want to see the outcomes with a quick result, but also an amazing visual uh, of each decision that you're taking, this is how you can use AI in your decision-making process 
So you can show it to clients very quickly. You can show it to stakeholders, to uh, decision makers, to presidents, wherever you present your project in. This is how you can bring AI and receive amazing feedbacks. So let's go through the sketches. How do you make the right sketch? So the effect in AI would be as quick as possible and you can generate amazing images. So what I found out through my experience with AI is the sketches that are more in the human eye level, so almost seen from a normal person's point of view, are better uh, to generate more clear images, also direct front views. So instead of going bird view or creating complex perspectives, it is much easier for the AI to understand your perspective when it's front view. Uh, also with closed lines and closed edges. As you see here in this sketch, you see all of these points. It's important that they are closed, that they are not any voids or uh, white spaces because then the AI thinks that it's expanding or going outside and he doesn't understand that it's a surface that is enclosed. As you see here, this is less elaborated uh, model and even then the AI knows how to take that into a beautiful image. So this was enough. It was just a five minute work on a 3D model of a tower. So this is the image. Uh, we are moving now to the Vera's window. Uh, we go to compose. We change, just a sec. This is how it is. We change the width and height of the frame until it fits everything inside. Then we go up and change the prompt. Award-winning render of a modern building. That's right, a modern museum building, curved and made of glass and white aluminum facades. Maybe let's write pink facades. Uh, round edges, golden hour, ocean background, autumn, which is pretty okay. Let's see the parameters on the top. So it's an aerial view. Uh, let's start with Tubor Nature. Let's see what it does. Atmospheric as well, and Let's write add people and let's change the different last parameters. Material override, since this is a sketch, 14 and 80. So we went down and stored it a little bit and we have 14 and 100 and so on. So as you see, it's a bit distorted and it keeps the sketch uh, almost uh, alive and we have to go beyond that. So let's move up. It does have a more solid feel this is more light but still it can be a nice idea for some building and this gives us a real sense of a flower even though it doesn't have any windows uh, but i still like this version it's realistic it does give us a feel of an architecture building a, mu a museum uh, connection to nature it's blending very nicely it has some people that's a beautiful environment for me it's good enough so uh, this is how you narrow things down and come to your uh, best version of your sketch.